Okay, so taking this bike on a, a bit of a ride through a park here. Now, this is a dual suspension mountain bike, right? The front shocks work perfectly. Nothing wrong with that. The rear shock, it is such a weird. I took it to the bike shop. They can't get it working. I bought a, a whole different shock to put on there. But the bike shop said the way this is set up, the suspension, like all these pivot points, it's just made incorrectly. Apparently, he reckons. Now, look, the suspension has, it used to, this suspension used to be across that way, right? So it was completely locked. So I put took out 50 PSI. So instead of having 100 PSI in there and in there, it's now got 50 PSI in there and in there because there's a point there you pump it up with a suspension pump and a point over there that you pump it up because it's got two chambers. Now, I'm riding it and it sort of was working, I think. I don't know. Anyway, it just went bang. And look, the suspension, it, the whole bike is dropped down. Like it's its stuck in its lowest position. It's such a, like the, uh, the company Volk, V-A-L-K, who made this bike, they must be a pack of fucking retards or something to make something like this. Like, <laughs> I don't know of another suspension, uh, this whole rear suspension, this shock. I, I, bought, I bought another one, it was like 150 bucks. It's come, it comes with like an out, a, a spring, so you just fill up one chamber and then the spring is for the return. I don't know if that's going to fix it or not, but this shock here, the EXA, can you see that in the sun? I don't know. Look at this shock. It doesn't work! It says RR1, what's that, A5 or something? And it says EXA form. But this shock... EXA form air rear suspension wow doesn't even work man doesn't work at all when when I ha got the bike you, you get it you like you push on it like ready uh, uh, the front one bounces up and down you'd have to do it in person to understand what I'm talking about it's hard to film it unless I had like a tripod and I could put the camera here and walk over there and push on it and show you but I have to hold the phone because I'm in a park and I haven't got a tripod so it's hard to show you but the front suspension works the rear suspension I weigh 120 fucking kilos I'm a heavy cunt and it doesn't work it's like it doesn't even have rear suspension like you push on it and it doesn't work so, I, so like I say I, I took out I took out half the PSI, it was on 100 in both chambers, I made it 50 PSI with my suspension pump and um, it might have been working, maybe I don't know, but um, you push on it and it, the, the, the rear it's like a hardtail, it doesn't move at all it's <laughs> such a disappointment man like I know they, they, they sell this bike for 1,500. They're trying to get as much profit as possible. But could you, like if you're gonna put a rear suspension on it, could you at least design it so it works? <laughs> like it doesn't work. Now look, it's, it's all dropped down, it's all locked out. Now it's at its lowest position, see? This isn't meant to be up and down like that. This all needs to pivot around and it, and it goes like that. It's all locked out, it's, it's such a shitty design, man. I'd be embarrassed for the cunts who made this. Literally embarrassed if I made this. Fucking wankers.